Yeah, it's really amazing to come here and see TI technology being deployed and robots built by Amazon Robotics at this scale. So Amazon Robotics fulfills all of the custom robot needs for mobile robotics and manipulation robotics throughout the Amazon network. We have more than 750,000 robots that are out there in the field and thousands of robot work cells that do manipulation to fulfill orders for customers every day. So our collaboration is built really around uh, Amazon's excellence in robotics, and TI's excellence in embedded processing as well as analog. Proteus is our mobile robot system that can work near people. And the reason that that's important is it means that we can extend the reach of our mobile robots to places in the building that we couldn't be before. Our prior generation of robots, the structured field robots, all live behind safety fences. Proteus itself can go out and work in the wild. So our first application for it is for moving things around in the chaotic environment of the outbound dock, the place where we ship final orders to customers. And so what it allows us to do is to bring autonomous robotics to those spaces where they can work tightly with humans. So many sensors are in the system to help detect and track objects and the TI processing technology helps to fuse that sensor data together. So there we have to process in real time, whether it's a human, an object, fuse that data together, map an environment, and autonomously allow the robot to navigate while driving the motors and all of the real-time processing in the system. The TI platform has a hardware infrastructure that allows safety to perform in concert with real-time functionality and Amazon can develop their software on top of our platform. And really it is about collaboration between our teams and the Amazon robotics teams to develop their system and get it certified to the SIL levels that they need to achieve. So what we do is we've actually split the function. So we have a safety bubble, which is effectively a, an invisible force field that looks for people in the proximity of the robot. And if they get too close, we'll either slow or stop the robot in a, a functionally safely rated manner. And then we wrap that in an overall more sophisticated planning system that understands exactly how that safety bubble behaves so that as Proteus drives through a congested area, it can simply avoid any situation which might cause the safety bubble to trigger and allow us to have high performance. As we continue to enhance and strengthen our product roadmap related to our TI processing technology to bring the world of sensor fusion, motor control, functional safety combined together, our power management portfolio to drive high power efficiency and power density in a small form factor, and our signal chain and connectivity solutions so the robot can communicate over ethernet and CAN interfaces. We just wanna to continue to advance the future of robotic systems, and we're just excited how Amazon continues to push us to strengthen and, and drive a robust product roadmap in the future. It's been a great partnership, and look forward to continuing to release robots together.